Hey, family and friends, it's your girl, LaJoyce, but I'm coming to you as Dr. Brookshire today and right now because I'm coming to you with a critical alert. So grab your good doctor notebook. This is critical life saving information. The news is out, the numbers are in, and it's now a fact. The CDC has made the announcement that it's not just a matter of if the coronavirus is coming to America, but when the coronavirus will arrive and with force. Mm. We need to pay attention. We need to take heed. I need you to grab your good doctor notebook. And if you've never had one up until now, start one. I'm going to be communicating with you from right here about information that impacts us right now up to the minute. Thank God for social media. This is one good thing that we can use for Facebook. Listen, the coronavirus is particularly dangerous because it lives on surfaces. You have to be vigilant and you have to take matters into your own hands. We have to stay on this side of prevention. Can you get rid of the coronavirus if you catch it? Absolutely. But do you want to get it? Absolutely not. You want to make sure that you keep your immune system healthy. It's the same thing I've been teaching all along about keeping your immune system strong and keeping it healthy. What can you do? You can go to bed at night because if your body gets in a weakened state, if you are running on fumes and not getting enough rest, let me tell you, anything can grab a hold of your system and take over. You also should treat yourself as if you're the prize because you are. I want you to make sure that you eat well, that you eat healthy soups, healthy sandwiches, eat your vegetables, eat your fruits, stay away from the grains, the rice, the pasta, stay away from the bread, stay away from those sweets, the soda, the pop, yes, the pop, still say the pop, stay away from the pop. It's essential, stay away from the coffee, stay away from anything that drags your immune system down. Also, you want to make sure that you are vigilant with washing your hands. The bathrooms in public places are dirty, 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 dirty places. First of all, don't ever go in without a tissue or a napkin. Don't touch anything. You know people leave that bathroom and don't wash their hands. The toilet stool handle, use that foot. The door handle knob, use paper. The soap dispenser, use paper. The knobs, use paper. If there's no paper in the bathroom, take your own. Keep a bag full of paper towels and napkins to protect your hands, or better still, even use plastic gloves. You, you know what? We have to be vigilant. This, this, is, this is survival of the fittest. This is not a joke, and I'm looking for my plastic gloves, okay? You also want to have wipes. You want to have wipes. These right here, these wipes, they come from the dollar store, okay? But they're antibacterial. And I also have some that are the more expensive variety, right? From my Healthy Home, Healthy You workshops. And they have essential oils in them. That is important. You can also make your own hand sanitizer. Don't dream of not carrying a hand sanitizer these days. Um, please don't. I like to make mine with wintergreen alcohol because it has essential oil wintergreen in here. And I like witch hazel. These are cheap. They come from Walmart in the dollar store, okay? Peroxide in a spray bottle. And, I, and my students, I'm a professor, you know, so I spray my students' hands. You can't touch anything in my classroom. They get right off the subway and want to come in and sit down and touch things. No, I spray your hands first. But you should be spraying your own hands. You should have your own sanitizer. You should have your own wipes. Okay, I'm, I'm concerned about how these children are managing when they're not around me to get their hands sprayed and to get their desks wiped down. Okay, and these desks are filthy. We come into the classroom and it's like we were never there two days ago. Really? Are you serious? Important. Drink your water. I'm not playing with you all. You have to drink your water. You have to rinse. You have to flush. You have to pee and poop. Okay. Drink your green juice. Make a green juice. Mine has my green vitamins in there. See it? I did an extra overload today. All right. Because I'm not playing. I'm reorganizing my entire schedule to make sure I get in bed every all on time, every time before 10 o'clock. 
because I'm being vigilant. I'm staying vigilant. This is survival of the fittest out here. I don't care what they're calling it, some biohack, but let me tell you something. If I can conquer AIDS, hello. If I can, if my immune system was strong enough to conquer AIDS, we're going to conquer this. But we have to keep those healthy habits in place because any virus is a virus and it cannot take foothold on you unless your immune system is weakened by sugars, exhaustion, poor foods, poor eating habits. So when you roll up in McDonald's, ask for a salad. If that's all you can afford, if the only thing you can afford in that grocery store is a head of rom is some romaine lettuce, grab it. A package of organic spinach, grab it. Some celery, grab it. A bag of organic apples, grab it. Stop reaching for the junk and stop giving it to your children. And oh my goodness, I'm sick and tired of seeing many people eating well and feeding their children sugar smacks. Really? Kellogg Frosted Frakes, stop it. Don't do it. If you're going to feed yourself well, feed your children well too. I am overly concerned about this. My heart is full. I'm seriously emotional about this because I want us to take heed. I want us to take warning. I want us to listen and I want us to be vigilant. But most of all, I want us to be well. We have work to do and we don't have time to be afraid because fear is not of the Lord, that's the first thing. And we shall not carry a spirit of fear. However, we will be cautious. We will be diligent. All right? Do these things. Take notice and pass it on. God bless you.